failed Republican presidential candidate Marco Rubio has announced he is now supporting Donald Trump. This is absolutely fantastic. And while he says he doesn't agree that Mexicans are by and large rapists, he gives Trump credit for saying that because it was really effective. Remember that Marco Rubio has insulted everything about Donald Trump from his supposedly small hands to the fact that he'll make America orange again rather than great to criticizing Trump's spelling in tweets to Trump's hair. I mean, everything has been insulted on Donald Trump by Marco Rubio. But since then, Rubio says he regrets the insults and actually he is supporting Trump. And here's where we get to the good stuff over the weekend. Uh, during an interview on CNN State of the Union, Marco Rubio said that Trump was being supported by some scary dudes, but that he doesn't actually believe Trump is a white nationalist. Let's take a look at that clip first. The rest, of course, from there snowball. Donald Trump has gotten a lot of support from a lot of good, God fearing Americans. He's also gotten a lot of support from some some pretty scary dudes, um, the white nationalists out there and the like. Uh, before some of the primaries, some of these hate groups uh, did robocalls on his behalf, make sure to elect Donald Trump and not the Cubans. Did that? Did you ever hear about that stuff? I did. did. It, did and, I, you know, it's offensive, you know, not just against me, but the fact that elements like that are still involved in American politics. And traditionally, a candidate would disavow that and say, I want nothing to do with it. I don't want them as part of my campaign. And he I didn't. He didn't. And I didn't like that. You know, and I said that at the time. And, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, obviously, <laughs> I'm, I don't believe that Donald Trump's a white nationalist. I don't believe that, that, those, pretend, that are, those are his views. But I do think it's unfortunate that people like that have found, um, uh, you know, the ability to express themselves in this way in, in a campaign and that, you know, I, I didn't like it. But I, I w if it wasn't against me, I wouldn't have liked that. I just don't really think there's a place for that in our party or in our country. How is that an explanation? It is what it is. Yeah, I wanted him to disavow the insane racist nativists who were going around saying don't vote for the Cubans, but he didn't. And you know what? It is what it is. And I still support the guy. I like his policy on uh, what banning Muslims. I have no idea. What do you think, Marco Rubio VP? Is this what's <laughs> yeah, going I mean, on? people are speculating what what was he promised in order to do this? Uh, and then here's where we re really get into the meat of it. I love this. Rubio says it was really great strategy to call Mexicans rapists because it really put the other candidates in a tough position. T check this out. This is crazy. In his first speech um, announcing his candidacy, he described the Mexicans, the Mexicans coming over the border as rapists and drug dealers. When Mexico sends its people. They're not sending their best. They're bringing <laughs> drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. <laughs> Did it personally offend you? I know you're not Mexican, but you are Latino. Yeah, no, it's an offensive comment. I mean, there's no doubt about it. it, it that, that's an offensive comment. And by the way, highly inaccurate. Yeah. But, uh, but here's the trap you're in, right? If you respond to it, he's getting what he wants. I mean, that's why he's sometimes saying this to dominate the cycle. I mean, and that's... And he, I, I don't give him credit for what he said, but I give him credit for the way he understands this stuff. I mean, Donald Trump, we underestimated how well he understood how the media, and I don't mean this, you know, it's very common for political people to attack media people, but it's just the way it is. Media is a business. This is less of a critique of Marco Rubio. I mean, he's actually right that it was a, uh, it, it was interesting and 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 uh, intelligent in the sense that it put everybody else in a really awkward position. But it's more of an exposure of how absurd this entire Republican campaign has been. And I'd go even further. Trump knew not only how the media would react, but Trump knew how the racist and native nativist elements of the Republican Party and the right wing electorate would react. That's the part Rubio is less eager to admit. Rubio is saying, hey, the media reacted in a very particular way to Trump saying that. And that's why, even though I don't agree with it, it's a credit to him. But it also was the Republican electorate reacting in a particular way. And Rubio doesn't want to admit that, obviously. No. And uh, why? Why are you in this party, Rubio? This is your party. You don't like it. Well, maybe you should just leave politics forever. Conflicting opinion from Republican insiders, though, about whether Rubio's career in politics is over. Yeah. On the one hand, his presidential campaign was such an embarrassing farce that he got destroyed in his own state. On the other hand, his state is Florida and very odd things happen in Florida. Uh, Florida is the strangest state in the country. <laughs> That's I mean, I'm putting it nicely. Uh, it, it's a wild, wacky state. And you, you lived there many years. I lived there. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I was young for Three of those years I was quite young, but yeah. uh, close to two of those years uh, a bit older. Yeah.